Today, I asked a bunch of YouTubers to pick out Funko Pops that I need to go find. And if I can't find all of them, one of you guys is gonna be going home with this Funko Pop prototype. And to win, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below. And so now, guys, I guess all we have to do is find out who the first figure is gonna be from... Oh, 3C Films! Hello there, Mr. Top Pops. 3C Films here. Lovely to meet you, man. You know, I gotta say, when I first started collecting a few years back, some of your videos were very helpful in the whole collecting game. And, well... I'm not a beginner anymore. I've got a whole room of Funko Pops. I thought maybe you'd appreciate it. One of the reasons I do love collecting Funko Pops though, other than all the horror pops they make, they're also the only company that's ever made an action figure or toy for the Leprechaun. One of my favorite guilty pleasure horror franchises. I think he deserves to be in your collection. Can you find the Leprechaun common pop? See you, Mr. Top Pops. Oh, okay, I think I can do this. Let's go to Toys R Us. And now the reason that I wanted to go here is because when I was there about a week ago, they had a few of them hidden in the back, so I'm guessing they're still gonna be there. Or at least I hope. I mean, it's not the most popular horror movie they should be. All right, everybody, we made it. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, we still have Toys R Us in Canada. Okay, so here is the section. And as you guys can tell, there is a lot of figures. So I should probably remember what they've got, or at least try to for later in case we need to come back. But now I'm seeing if I can find the the leprechaun here he is and i'm pretty sure 3c films even said the original one this is perfect okay so now that we found the first figure we need to go on to the next person who's going to be unlisted leaf hey what's going on top pops okay for my request i reckon you have to find a pikachu funko pop but i'm gonna go one step harder just like my pikachu at the back here it's gonna be a flopped pikachu funko pop all right, bud, good luck with that one. Ooh, a Pikachu, but not just any Pikachu, a flocked one. By the way, and I love the setup, but I gotta see. Do they have one here, maybe? All right, so back in the section, I'm noticing the only one they have here is Piplup, which is definitely not a flocked Pikachu. So it looks like for now, we're probably done with Toys R Us. Let's keep looking. All right, so the next place that I found is Canada Computers, and I know that they have a lot of Pokemon Pops, so you never know. So we made it to this section, and it looks like, oh my gosh, they actually have some interesting stuff. And now I know this isn't part of the video, but we've got like the Meal Squad figures over here, as well as the Bright bottle cap? Oh no, it's not what I'm looking for. And down here, check this out guys, they also have J. Jonah Jameson. But anyways, we're here for that Pikachu and so far, I'm not seeing any Pokemon. Oh, but you know what, over here I am and it looks like we've got Caterpie, Pidgeotto, Pichu. Oh, if it was flocked, do you think you would count it? No, we can't do it. First of all, it's not flocked. And then second of all, it's not Pikachu. So I don't know, it doesn't look like they have any, but you know what, it was worth a shot. So Canada Computers was good, but they didn't have what I was looking for. And then I remembered that we've got a dollar store that sells pops here in the mall so why not let's check Alrighty, so i found it over here in the toy section and it looks like we've got some legally blonde ones lebron james funko shop maybe somebody will say that i gotta remember that's here and then over here we've also got like some of the masked workers from squid game long but uh yeah no pikachu all right, everybody, so it's a little bit later, and I think I found the spot where we're gonna be getting that Pikachu. We're over here at Freak Show Comics, where they have a lot of random figures, and usually some pretty good ones. Now, just to show you guys, this is what their section is looking like, and it seems like they've expanded since the last time I was here, so we might be able to find it. Eh, you never know. I just have to find their Pokemon section, because right now, I'm not seeing it, but also, I did just notice they had the Leprechaun here, too. And now, down at the bottom here, guys, I did notice that they have some Pokemon Pops, and I'm seeing a Pikachu, and I believe this one here could be one of the flocked ones. If you guys didn't know, there are three different versions of the flocked Pikachu. The angry one, which is possibly right here, as well as the waving, and then the original one that came inside of a collector's box. So let's take it off the shelf, guys, and find out if this is it. It is! Oh my gosh! Okay, this is perfect! And so now that we found the flocked Pikachu, we've got to watch the next video coming in from Lamar Wilson. Hey, what's up, Top Pops? You should make your slogan, once you pop, you can't stop. That's not trademarked, I promise. You'll be okay. Anyway, Anyway, uh, you're going on a hunt, and I'm betting you cannot find the Miles Morales Gamerverse version. Gamerverse, see, I, I bet, I bet you can't find it. If you find it, I'll give you. I watched your video. <laughs> Good luck. Ooh, okay, a Miles Morales one. Let's see what we can do because I swear I saw a Marvel section over there. And so this is the section that I was talking about and it looks like we've got like Agent 13 down here, Sylvie, I'm not seeing any Spider-Man yet. We've got like Ned, which is kind of, but not Miles Morales. And then what do we got up here? We've got like She-Hulk, Star-Lord, the original one, as well as, oh, hold on guys, take a look up here. They have, if I can reach it, the Miles Morales Purple Rain Spider-Man. And I believe this is the 
exact one he had in the video? How perfect is this? And so I guess it was a good day to come to Freak Show Comics because we got two of the ones we were looking for. Alrighty, so I came back to my office for a minute because we've got a little while till we can actually go to our next spot. And as you guys have seen so far, I've been pretty lucky because I found every single one that we could. And so I guess you guys should be a little bit nervous because at the moment, that prototype's mine. And so now, before we get out of here, let's check out the next video coming in from Matthew Beam. Yo, it's Matthew Beam. I just built the world's largest custom Spider-Man Funko Pop, but I have an even crazier challenge for you. I need the very rare Diamond Grogu from Star Wars Celebrations. Good luck finding this. It's so hard to find. Please do, though. I really need this for my collection. Now, Matthew, I'm going to be honest. This seems a little bit tough to find, but the good news is we're going to a toy show next, which is going to have hundreds of Funko Pops. This should be our best bet. And just like that, everybody, we made it. Now, if I'm going to be honest, I don't exactly know what they're going to have, what kind of booths, but I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of pops and probably some rarer ones, even rarer than the comic book store. And now that we're inside, I figured I might as well just show you guys a little bit of what the room is like because it is crazy in here, like wall-to-wall -wall figures. And now I ran into my first booth here with pops, and it seems like there's not going to be a Grogu here, but I should remember these for later because there's a lot of random ones here. Okay, so I found another table with figures. We've got like some more expensive ones like the Book of Life, as well as Leonard Hofstetter, Leatherface, some original Star Wars ones. Actually, it's nice to see these, but up here I am not seeing that Grogu. But the good news is, guys, there are dozens of booths just like this. Found some more Star Wars ones. We've got, like, the Boba Fett in the black box. That's kind of what we're looking for with the Grogu here. And then we've also got, like, the black... Oh, that's a different one, because we've got the red version from WonderCon, and then the green one down here from ECCC. Then we've also got, like, General Grievous, Cassie and Andor, but uh, no Grogu besides Grogu in the Dark Trooper, and I don't think that counts. Now, we know we're not looking for them anymore, but they do have a flock Pikachu over at this booth, and then I saw a Diamond Edition figure in a sideways box, but it's Deadpool, not Grogu. Now, I found a table here with some pretty unusual figures, and I'm seeing if there's a Grogu or a Diamond Grogu, to be more specific, and I'm not seeing anything, but I'm really liking what they do have, like the Taxi Driver one back there, as well as a bunch of older WWE. I was doing a bit more digging, guys, and at the back here, I noticed that they have a Purple Rain Miles Morales that we got earlier. Kind of funny to see again. And everybody, we finally found our first Grogu at the show, but it's just, it's not the right one. And so I think you guys know what I'm gonna say. Matthew, I was not able to find the Diamond Grogu. I tried in there. I was asking around, I checked pretty much every single booth, but nobody had it, so I guess let's check out the next video, which is coming in from Sidekick Inc. Hey Tristan, thanks for having me, um, but here's the thing. I don't wanna make this too challenging for you, so I thought it would be fun if you just go ahead and find anything you can. Literally anything you can find. It could be this thing, or maybe this thing, even one of these things. But bonus points, if you can find one of these things, because I know they're a little harder to come by. But anyways, best of luck on your hunt, and I hope you find everything that you are looking for. You, you see what I did because the, because uh, the, the, anyways, good luck. Okay, so literally anything possible. So it could be whatever thing I want. Doesn't have to be a specific Grogu. I think I could do this. Now guys, I noticed under a booth that we were at earlier, they actually have a couple of the Fantastic Four figures of Mr. Fantastic, Herbie, Mole Man. So this could be our spot. I know guys, I know this isn't the Funko Pop, but they do have the Marvel Select version of the thing. Doesn't count though. And now over here in the corner, I found some more Fantastic Four figures with Invisible Girl as well as Human Torch, but no thing. Alrighty, so we're gonna be cutting our losses on the toy show. I thought it would be good and they had a lot of really cool figures, but nothing that we needed for today. So now let's go to another store. All right, so we made it to our next spot and this one here seems pretty promising with the amount of figures they've got. It's a conspiracy comics. And now I wanna show you guys before I start digging, look at the amount of pops they have, it's crazy. And now I understand that this one doesn't count, but hey, I mean, he said anything, he's just a little bit bluer. And now don't think I didn't forget about the Grogu because down here at the bottom, they have the child with frog it's just not the diamond one. Okay, so I found this section here that has a couple more expensive figures because it is going to be a little bit more pricey. I think it's like 40 to 50 bucks. So we've got like Polaris over here, She-Hulk, a lot of blue boxes, which I'm going to be honest, thought was that, but they're actually Fantastic Four. Okay, so I did ask. They checked their system. They didn't have anything besides Swamp Thing. So now we're going to be going over to GameStop here at the same mall because they said you never know. He might be there. Alrighty, so we made it to the GameStop. And if I'm going to be honest, it's okay. Like they have some stuff that is pretty interesting, like these U2s here. But it's not what I'm looking for today. Of course, we're looking for the 
thing and I'm not seeing one anywhere. And just like that, everybody, we got kicked out. Okay, everybody, we now came over to another store called Dark Fox TCG who has a small section of pops and I heard that they did restock a little bit, so I figured we might as well check. And I'm not showing you yet because I am pretty excited about this, but take a look. They've got a lot of Pokemon pops and then up here, guys, Fantastic Four ones. Mr. Fantastic, Silver Surfer, and check this out, The Thing. We gotta get this. Oh, and I didn't even notice above, guys, they also have some of the Pikachu pops, not flocked, but still cool to see. And then over here, we've got some other random ones and I'm still looking for that that diamond Grogu, even though I feel like it's probably a lost cause at this point. And now just like that, everybody, we are back. And as you guys could tell, I wasn't able to get all five of them. Again, Matthew, I apologize. I could not find that diamond Grogu. And you see, I could have ordered it online, but it wouldn't have made it for today, so it wouldn't count. And so I guess that means this prototype is going to one of you guys. So make sure you subscribe and put your comments down below. And now I guess let's take a look at the figures that I was able to get today, like the Leprechaun for 3C Films. This is seriously a fun one, and I'm so glad that they had one of them left over at Toys R Us. And then after that, we got two of them kind of back to back. And I guess the first one would have been the flocked Pikachu. And seriously, Freak Show Comics, you came in clutch today. Because if it weren't for them, we wouldn't have either of these. This one here is honestly a really nice figure. And then we've also got the exact one that Lamar said, the Purple Rain Spider-Man. Well, actually, it's Miles Morales from Spider-Man Miles Morales. You know what I mean. And this is definitely a fun one, especially with the way he's in the air kicking. I love the pose Funko put him in. And then everybody, the last figure that we got for today was the Thing in Disguise, probably my favorite out of all of them. And I know that Sidekick Inc. is a huge fan of The Thing, so it's seriously awesome that we were able to get him today. And well, anyways, guys, that is everything for today, and I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you tomorrow!